Welcome, 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 welcome to 3D Boxing Podcast. We are here on Texas Boxing Scene. We're going to upload this to both channels because we are breaking down Charlo, Jamel Charlo, and <clears throat> Brian Castano, the controversial drum. I'm going to give you my thoughts and my take on it, but please subscribe to uh, this channel, Texas Boxing Scene, as well as the other channel. And again, this is going to be updated on both um 3D Boxing Blog. Quick Hits comes at you twice a day, every day, to keep you up to date on the latest uh, boxing news and rumors. Two shows a day, every day, uh, eight to ten minutes a day, just to keep you up to date, like I said. Uh, and we come on either one of these two channels, Texas Boxing Scene, uh, which is completely dedicated to Texas Boxing, or the main channel, 3D Boxing, uh, 3D Boxing Blog. Uh, let's, get into, let's get into the fight, uh, because there are a lot of thoughts, a lot of analysis, you know, uh, a lot of things to get into. Um, was it a, did Cassano deserve the win? Did, was, was it a robbery? Um, did the judges get it right? There's a lot, of, there's a lot that goes into this, right? Um, a lot of people have a lot of different takes. So, uh, in full disclosure, um, I, I'm going to tell you how I had it. I had 7-5, 115, um, 113. For Castano, uh, I scored and I'll go real quick. The first round for Castano, the second round for Charlo, the third round for Castano, so uh, the third round for Castano, um, the fourth round for Castano, the fifth round for Castano, the sixth round for Charlo, the seventh round for Castano, the eighth round for Castano, the ninth round for Castano, and then the final three rounds, 10, 11, and twelve, all for Charlo. So I gave Charlo the second, the sixth, and the final three. Uh, Charlo closed the show well, but on my card, it was not enough, right? He still lost 7-5. to 7-5 to five is the score I'm seeing over and over again for Castano, all right? So I do think Castano won the fight. Do I think this was a robbery? In no way, shape, or form was this a robbery. First, this was an amazing fight. This is an absolutely incredible fight. The best part about this fight is that it ended in a draw, and we get to see it again. Does my gut kind of, does my card say that Castano won the fight? Did I kind of think Castano won the fight when it ended? Yeah, slightly. But just, you know, just a little bit. Um, but there were close rounds in there. We're, we're going to go over that. Um, I, I don't think a draw was inappropriate at all. I don't think it's, it's a bad decision. You know, the only bad decision is the 117-111 scorecard, which everyone has come out here and, and, and saying, you know, that's a Texas decision. I, I want everyone to know that the judge, none of the judges were from Texas. None of them, not a single one. Um, and the judge that had the ridiculous 117-111 scorecard was from Puerto Rico. Okay? So it wasn't a Texas decision. It was just a bad decision. Uh, the same judge scored um, the uh, F.A. Apache fight for Apache over Brandon Glayton just a couple weeks ago in a fight he clearly lost. And we, we, we can pull up the scorecards. I'll, I'll, I'll do that now. Um, give me one second. Um, so this is the one of note, Nelson Vasquez of Puerto Rico. I mean, it's just an awful card. It's just a terrible card, right? Like, it's just it's terrible. I mean, I, I don't even know what to make of it. Like, it's that bad. He gave these middle rounds the fourth round. It's terrible. Like, and he, the seventh he gave to Charlo, I mean, it's a terrible scorecard. But you can see the rest of it's reasonable. Um, so why is it real reasonable? So I said, what rounds did Charlo definitely win? I think Charlo definitely won the second and the last three. So that's four off the bat. Which rounds did Castano definitely win? The first round? And I don't care what Nelson Vasquez says. He's ridiculous. The third round, the fourth round, the seventh, and the eighth. So six to uh, but six to four. Wait, one. The Casado definitely won one, three, four, seven, and eight. One, three, four, seven, and eight. So it's five to three. Five, I'm sorry, five to four with three swing rounds. If you swing all of those in favor of Charlo, you get seven to five, Charlo. If you swing them all in favor of Castano, that's eight to four, Castano. Anything in that realm is a reasonable scorecard, 
right? The the swing rounds were five, six, and nine. Um, I scored two of the three for Castano. If you score two of the three for Charles, it's a draw. So I scored the fifth for 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 um for Castano. You could have switched it for Charlo. I scored the sixth for Charlo. You could have switched it for Castano. And I gave the ninth. Uh, yes, the ninth for Castano. You could have switched it for Charlo. So you got the fifth, the sixth, and the ninth were the three swing rounds. Um, you can go either way with that. Anywhere, again, anywhere from 7-5 Charlo to 8-4 Castano is the realm of correct scorecard. There are three close rounds, three toss-up rounds. Um, but you got to score all of them to get Charlo to win. You got to give Charlo two of three of them. You know, if you give all three of them to Castano, which is fine. 116, 112 Castano is a fine scorecard. Um, you have Castano wide. So you could have, you know, fairly wide, 8-4. Or you could have Charlo close, 7-5. Um, the fight was a great fight. Both guys did it in spots what they wanted to do. Castano on the inside, Charlo on the outside. Charlo wants to control the thing on the outside. And at times, you could see Charlo was the quicker fighter. A, a lot quicker. Noticeably quicker where, where Castano was at a sizable deficit in hand speed that looked insurmountable. But he did a great job of getting on the inside, especially through the first nine rounds. An amazing job. Charlo was the bigger hitter, right? But Castano's pressure was relentless. Both guys did kind of what they wanted to do to win. They just didn't do it throughout the 12 rounds, which is what makes the – they could both have done – they both in stages did what they wanted, but they were both room for them to do a lot better. Castano needs to keep that pressure up. If he keeps the pressure up in the last three rounds, he wins that fight easy. Um, but flip that around. Charlo, the reason why Charlo lost the my scorecards was he simply gave away too many rounds. He got a little Adrian Broner-esque where he just kept his hands in his pockets. Um, and Cassano was winning rounds on volume and work rate and pressure. Um, to me, it looked like Charlo was the better fighter, but Cassano did more. And I, you know, at the end of the day, Cassano pressure was what won it on my card. The good news is they both did things well. They both fought to their strengths, but they both – Charlo didn't do enough. Charlo didn't use the jab enough. Castano didn't move his head like he, he needs to. Um, Castano was a sitting target a lot of times. Um, so he needs to move his head more, and he can. He's done it better. More body work. His body work was great. More body work. More body work. So the, what I'm saying is they both did things well, and they both left room to improve on things. So I think the rematch, which we're good, we better get this rematch. Um. The rematch could be even a better fight because both guys have things they can improve on. Um, my 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 in inkling is that Kisano, yeah, Kisano deserved the win in a very close fight, but you got to go one way or the other. Not that a draw is inappropriate, but if you had to give the fight to one guy, I give it to Kisano. But the rematch is going to be 50 50, right? But I, I think Charlo figured things out, right? The last three rounds, which is why he ran the table those last three rounds. If he picks it up sooner, he wins the fight. So my inkling is that Charlo actually wins the rematch. But we'll see. Again, it's it's a 50-50 kind of fight, but you're asking me for like 51-49. Who would I lean to in a rematch? Charlo. Um, but let me know what you guys think. Um, also, this is showing how competitive that division is. Castano's had two fights with Premier 154 pounders. They both ended in draws, right, with Laura and Charlo. All of these guys are so even and so competitive. This is a great division. I know Charles at one uh Laura's at 160 now. But I mean this this division has given us the best fighting, the best, and so many good fights. Um Let me know what you guys think. Leave your thoughts in 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 the in the comments. Did you guys think it was a robbery? You guys think Castano was robbed? A lot of people are saying that. A lot of people say it's a Texas decision. I don't think because there was no Texas judges involved in the scoring of the fight. Um, leave your thoughts, comments below. Uh, please like and subscribe to Texas Boxing Scene and 3D Boxing Blog. This is going to go on both channels. Um, it is July 19th, 2021. Ivan Calderon is still not in the Boxing Hall of Fame. Let's get the Iron Boy in. Um, from Texas to the world, thank you and God bless.